Hello and welcome to the Online Academy of Irish Music. My name is Kirsten Allstaff and today I'm going to be teaching you a slow, very old, haunting melody called The Southwind. It's a very well-known Irish air and here it is. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, let's get started with Southwind. This is a really simple, easy tune. It's very well known and I think you're going to enjoy it. Okay, the first line. Okay, again. With me after after two. One, two. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> okay. I'm tapping between the two G's and the two A's at the end of the phrase. Starting on a C natural pick up the second line. Let's do these two phrases together after two. One, two. And the good news is, these two lines are repeated. So let's do it again. Um, line A, B, then A, B, and that's the whole of the first part. Then we'll look at a bit of ornamentation, okay? One, two. <laughs> Okay, you can hold that last last G. Um, 
moving on to the second part. Now the second part has a GBD pickup, so listen. <laughs> Moving on, starting on C. Let's take it from the beginning of the second part after two. One, two, then the G, B, D pickup. One, two. Okay, moving on. The third line is the same as the first. And the last line. Okay, so that little rhythmic Scott snaps, what I call them. The AC, after that, there's this gap, and it's a really nice place to take a breath. Okay, so. Great. Let's play through the whole of the second part, then I'm going to show you a few nice little ornaments to put in. Okay, after two, then the pickup. One, two. stuff. Now I use a few melodic cuts in the second part, um, just from the first line. So I'm cutting um, in the middle of the G, in the middle of the F and in the middle of the E. When I'm cutting on the G and the F I'm using this finger, the middle one, However, when I'm cutting the F, I switch to the G finger, so. You can practice that to put into the first and the third line in the second part. Okay, um, just another few ornaments that you could put in the tune. In the first part, I always swoop up to the B from the A below. Okay, just softens the B. And again on the E, I'm just sliding up from the D. And you'll notice I do some vibrato on the on the last note. I'll be going into vibrato more in lesson three. Okay, so just remember to swoop up for the Bs and um, and for the E's in the first part, and these ornament 
ornamentative cuts. They're, they're more melodic than rhythmic and any of you who have done my other tutorials for jigs and reels, I'm always saying that the cuts should be rhythmic, not melodic. But in these slower pieces, they're nice at a slower pace so you can kind of hear the note and they're not just, um, they're not just percussive. Brilliant, well done. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Now, if you're on the website, you can find the accompaniment track to practice along with and you can choose the speed and mute the flute and it's great fun. If you're just watching on YouTube, you can just go to the start of this video and play along with me when I play the tune through twice at the very start. One thing I forgot to mention, the tune is the A part is single and the B part is repeated. So you're playing the A part of the tune once and the B part twice. This is the first lesson in a course titled Popular Airs and Waltzes for the Flute. So if you enjoyed this lesson, I'm sure, sure you will enjoy the other 12 in the series. They're all very well known slow pieces that, that sit really well on the flute. Now some of the techniques I will be focusing on are things like breath control, vibrato, how we play our phrase endings, our intonation, and how we create momentum using tempo and dynamics um, within these airs and waltzes. So if you want more information on this course, click on this link and I'll see you in the next lesson.